Hey, Mercy Kids. I'm so glad to be here with you today. I want to know, what are some of the things that you like to do all by yourself? Hmm, you're getting so big. Some of you are so big. You can do so many things all by yourself. And that's amazing, right? And then there are also things, I bet, let's see if you can think of any of these things, that you do that you need to get help with, right? Can you think of a few things that you do that you still need to get some help with? Hmm. You know, sometimes I, I, sometimes I like to ask for help and sometimes I don't. I just want to do it myself. You know that feeling? <laughs> and so it helps me to remember that Jesus asked people to help him. Okay, we're going to read that story in the Bible today. And we're going to see kind of what what does Jesus what does Jesus get help with? And if if Jesus can get help, maybe it'll help me know when it's time to ask for help too. All right, ready? Let's read this story about Jesus. The story is called 12 Helpers. Hmm, maybe Jesus got help a lot. Jesus had the best news ever. Do you know what this news is? What's the really good news Jesus had? Let's see if it tells us. He knew that the biggest and the best part of God's plan was to save people so they could live with him forever. That's good news. God wants to be with you forever. He wants to spend time with you forever. And so Jesus has a plan. Jesus decided that he wanted helpers who could spread this good news. Huh. Why do you think he did that? Why would Jesus want helpers with this? What do you think? Hmm, maybe, right, more people could tell more other people, right? This is a good reason to get help because sometimes the work, the job is so big that more hands, more people to help makes it go faster and you can do a better job. That's interesting. Okay, so he had a really big plan, a really big job, and he said, I'm going to get some help. Well, let's see how he picked his helpers. So did he pick helpers who were really super smart? No. Did he look for people who were super strong? No. Did he look for people who were really rich so they could use their money? No. Jesus looked for ordinary people who did ordinary things. Right? How many? I do a lot of ordinary things every day. Like uh, help with the dishes or, uh, you know, brush my teeth. Ordinary stuff. Jesus takes helpers of all kinds. Okay, let's keep going. Let's finish the story. One day Jesus went walking near the Sea of Galilee, and he saw two fishermen. They were casting their nets. They were trying to catch fish. And he said, oh, hey, you guys, you want to come and follow me? I will make you fishers of men. Does Jesus want them to go fish for people with a fishing pole? No, no, no. Jesus is saying, hey, if you come with me, you get to help me do what I'm doing. And what I'm doing is telling everyone the good news that God wants to be with them. And so he said, come on, follow me. Do this with me. And they said, what do you think they said? They said, yes. They said, we'll do it. We'll go with you. And then Jesus kept going. All right, he, he kept working. He saw two more brothers, James and John. They were fixing nets in a boat with their dad. And he did it again. What did he say? Come on, follow me. I will make you fishers of men. They agreed. They left their jobs. And instead of catching fish, they helped Jesus catch people. They went around telling people, hey, this guy has good news. God loves you. God wants to be with you. So I'll tell you the same thing right now. I hope we can catch you. God loves you. God wants to be with you. And all you do is say, yes. <laughs> you say, yes, Jesus. Come be with me and the Holy Spirit comes and lives with you, helps you think and feel and know Jesus. And one of the ways we do it is by, by reading stories about Jesus in the Bible. And the Holy Spirit comes and lives with us. And so, the next time you're wondering, hmm, is it okay to get help? You can think of this story, Jesus got help, because some of the things we do are so good, so big, that it's okay to ask for help. All right, I pray that for you. You want to pray with me? Jesus, this week when we can give help to someone, will you help us do it? And uh, will you help us to ask for help when we need it? 
because some of the things we do are so cool, are so big, are so important that that it's better to do it with other people. So help us to know when it's okay to, to ask for help. Amen. I love you guys. I hope this week as you're doing all these big new things that you that you have some fun doing things with other people just like Jesus did. Goodbye, friends. <laughs>